This is KickSpark0904. I'm a member of the ABB. ABB stands for Anti-Brony Brotherhood, and it is the strongest anti-brony organization standing, which is why you only have 17 subscribers. So before you troll, take note that... Alright, just one sec, let me get my notepad out here. Alright, number one. I used to be a brony. Number two. I have seen the show. Okay, well, I would have assumed that you've seen the show, because you just said you were a brony, and a brony is a fan of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I'm just going to cross that one out. Alright, real number two. I don't care about your opinion, I'm my opinion. Number three. I've seen BronyCon, and it is very corrupt. Well, KickSpark0904, I gotta fully agree with you on that. I don't know if you know this, but BronyCon every year is actually funded by a drug cartel. More specifically, a Colombian drug cartel. They use BronyCon as a front for their business to make large shipments of cocaine into the U.S. that they can sell on their enemies' turfs. It's very sneaky, and nobody would suspect that there are millions of dollars of cocaine, pure, uncut Colombian cocaine, in the basements of BronyCon. The bronies don't even know. Well, now they do. Alright. I have been an anti-brony for two years, and I know all your brony tricks. Traitors and spies will not be tolerated, and they will be tagged as hostile. They will be taken down. So long as you're wearing boxing gloves and you're in a boxing ring. All right. The most powerful of anti-bronies have been hidden all around the internet. Now is your time. Come out of hiding. Today is the day where the weak crush under the strong. Today is judgment day. Anti-bronies must win. If anti-bronies want to win the war on bronies, then we must not only need support on the internet, but outside the, of the internet as well. Well, just a tip, DT fuck and kickspark 904 if you do go outside of the internet and start looking for more recruits to your cause, be sure to pack a lot of sunscreen, because the outside world is a very bright place. I don't know any anti-bronies outside of the internet. Except there is one guy that hates bronies as much as I do, and I want him to support and join us. Which is why I'm going to show a random picture that nobody has any idea who the fuck this is. If any of you anti-bronies knows anybody outside of the internet, please not only let me know, but let other anti-bronies from their organizations know too. And organizations doesn't need to be capitalized in that sense, could do with a couple commas, but... Other than that, pretty good. Anti-bronies, spread this video to websites all around the internet and let the simple-minded bronies know that we are growing. Us anti-bronies must unite with each other so we can be big and we need to be organized in order to put an end to bronies. Well, in my opinion, first off, you should look at what you're actually typing, do a couple edits, and then put it on YouTube before you try and persuade people to join you. Right now, bronies are huge in numbers. They invaded the internet, spreading their MLP bullshit. And they didn't just invade the net. They invaded the whole world. I think you mean, uh... Spreading their MLP bullshit. They didn't just invade the net. Not invaded. But I think you get it. If we're going to stop bronies, then we must unite with each other here on YouTube. We need to sub every anti-brony. And like what the leader of ABA said... We need to unite ourselves with the anti-brony organizations. Now, here's where you have a mistake. You should say, we need to unite ourselves with the other anti-brony organizations. Because you make it sound like there's an anti-brony organization called anti-brony organizations. At the end of the video here, they call themselves the anti-brony association, which I think they meant to say the anti-brony brotherhood, and they only name three members. Kickspark0904, MLP Hater, and Halo Lover. And that doesn't seem like a very big group of people when they say that they're the biggest anti-brony association. Just my opinion, though. Once us anti-bronies and the anti-brony organizations unite, we'll be big and organized and we'll put an to bronies. Again, I really think you guys should check your grammar and look for typos before you bother putting these videos up because 
<laughs> wow. You're trying to send out a message and you're trying to get people to join your cause. Why would people join somebody who can't even take a minute to check their spelling before they put it up on a YouTube video? Here's the video titled Anti Brony Brotherhood. ABB. Be part of the solution. Here you can see they have four fists, three that are the same size, and then one on the left that's been shrunken down a little bit so it can fit into the poster, which makes the poster look a little bit off because that fist just doesn't quite fit in with the other three. Maybe that one used to watch My Little Pony, like Kicksparko 904, and he's not technically a part of the ABB, but they let him be there, and he exists. But he's not quite as important as the other three. And then you can see Pinky's head impaled on a spear here, and up in the upper left-hand corner they got their logo, the ABB, and their m mascot is a badger? Anyways, here is their recruitment poster for all of you. And if you Google the anti brony Brotherhood, you can find it on Google Images very quickly. anti brony Team Foxtail 7 attends BronyCon. Live helmet cam feed. This video isn't very good, and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, all they did was rip a scene from the controversial Modern Warfare 2 mission where you mow down the people in the airport. They did no extra editing to it. All they did was go around and shoot people. And they did a very bad job at that because there's some pretty shitty accuracy going on. And, well, they could have put more time and effort into it, like maybe putting some pony pictures up in it and making it look a little bit like BronyCon or a pony convention. But instead, all they did was take 3 minutes and 37 seconds from the mission that they recorded and gave it a title and put it on YouTube, which, if they're trying to beat the bronies in a war, I'm using quote-unquote right now, uh, that they put a little bit more effort into their farce? Yeah, farce is a good word for it. And But they're not. So I don't see any reason why they would even be remotely close to taking down the Brony community. And this is just one of the many reasons why. The title of this video is Prop That There's More Anti-Bronies Than Bronies. The title already contradicts itself because as stated in Kickspark 0904's other videos, the Bronies clearly outnumber the Anti-Bronies, which is why they are trying to band together, get all Anti-Brony organizations and others to join up with the Anti-Brony Brotherhood. Secondly, I think he meant proof rather than prof, and instead of their, T-H-E-I-R, he should be using their, T-H-E-R-E, -E, which is only like a third grade grammar mistake. So this is a nine second video clip of a phone being pressed up against a computer screen trying to show this uh, poll on Twitter, which would have been better if they just took a screenshot. So the poll is, bronies are the cancer which is killing the internet. Am I right? As you can see, 70% agreed and 30% disagreed, which means that 10 people voted more than likely. So 7 agreed, 3 disagreed. What more than likely happened was the person who put this poll up probably sent the link to their friends knowing that they would agree with them so that they could make the agree bar go up and a few bronies probably stumbled across it and disagreed with it. Now, if this was probably kept up for a day, there would be a lot more disagrees than agrees. And to put a little sting on it, he had to type fags in the comment box, which just seems unnecessary. But ironically, the like and dislike bar of this video is three likes to seven dislikes. Hey, I made a video on Mr. Brony Medic because he was talking shit to us anti-bronies and he disrespected the leader of ABA. Let's take a look at what that link is. This video has been removed as a violation of YouTube's policy prohibiting content designed to harass, bully, or threaten. Sorry about that. Yeah, YouTube better be sorry because I was actually looking forward to what kind of responses these anti-bronies give to people who just talk about them. <clears throat> Old Ponyville, 1000 years before episode 1. And right above 1,000 years, I can see Bon Bon and Granny Applesmith just walking in the square of Ponyville. Oh, and hey, over there to the right is Sugar Cube Corner. Look at that. 
Wonder if they had one thousand years ago. Well, they must have, because this timeline definitely can't be wrong. Oh, hey, look, there's uh, Dr. Colgate and Carrot Top and Storm Chaser and Lyra Heartstrings. Oh, wait, no, never mind. This is a thousand years ago. It must be their uh, very distant ancestors. Here you can see a bomb being dropped onto Ponyville. And here you can see a bomb exploding. Now, in my personal opinion, I think that was a complete waste of a bomb and the resources that whoever dropped it had. Rather than killing a few hundred ponies in Ponyville, you could go for more damage, such as dropping the bomb on Canterlot and crippling the government, or dropping it in the middle of Manhattan and going for maximum collateral damage, and as Discord would put it, this would put all the ponies in Equestria into utter chaos. They show a little bit of Canterlot exploding, even though the bomb wouldn't have reached that far. And then they show a Hammer of Dawn being used to destroy Ponyville after it's already been blown up by a bomb. And then they show Earth exploding, not Equestria. So, yes, bravo on that wonderful video. And then somehow from Ponyville being blown up by a bomb and then proceeded to be lasered down by a hammer, multiple Hammers of Dawn, and then ex Earth exploding somehow sends Luna into space as a filly. Great ending. So, I want to talk about hating an entire community, which I believe on the principles of haters and anti-bronies, I would have an entire right to hate the entire furry community, based on the sole actions of the only two furries I have ever met in person. The first furry... I'm just going to call him Edward, was a furry from my school. I did not know he was a furry. I invited him over to my home to stay for the weekend when his parents were out of town. I, uh, we were just going to be playing video games, watching anime, hanging out. Well, I woke up around 1 a.m. in my room. I was in my bed. He was supposed to be sleeping in the other room. He was looking threw a crack in my door at me, like my door was cracked, and he was just staring at me while, he, while I was asleep. I have no idea how long he was there, and it just creeped me out to no extent. And, uh, well, he came into my room after he noticed I had woken up. Uh, he kept trying to get in my bed, and I'm like, no, and I just kept pushing him away. And, uh, then he put on Inuyasha ears, and, okay, if you know me, I love Inuyasha. I have watched it since I was a kid. It is one of my all-time favorite animes. I have an Inuyasha poster on my wall. I have a bunch of the manga. I've cosplayed as Inuyasha. I love everything Inuyasha, except for him. And he put on Inuyasha ears, and he kept trying to crawl into my bed. And he's like, oh, just pretend I'm Inuyasha. And I'm like, no. And uh, finally, he's um, he's like, well, if you don't sign me, I'm just going to get into bed with you. And I'm like, no. And I fucking, he tried getting in my bed and I just pushed him right into the floor. And I said, get the fuck out. And I pointed at my door and he left. And, uh, yeah, that was the, uh, furry Edward. That was the first furry I ever met in person. And he tried to sexually assault me in my bed. So the second furry I met in person I don't know his name, but I was at Yomacon 2011. I had been up for almost two days straight, hyped up on just monster energy and Red Bull. And I was just going to panel after panel. I was in the artist's uh, corner. I was just, oh, I was so tired. And I felt like I was dead. So I was sharing a room with a bunch of people, and I would given my key card to somebody so that they could get into the room for some stuff, and I couldn't find them. So... My cell phone had died, so I looked for an outlet to charge my phone at. I found an outlet next to a little comfy sofa chair, and I plugged it in, and I just kind of laid there and rested for a few minutes while it charged so I could call them. And while I had my eyes shut, uh, there was a gay furry wearing all rainbows, and he had a free hug shirt on, and uh, all this fur and everything, and ears and a tail, a rainbow tail, and his face was just covered in zits, and he was uh, trying to get on top of me, and basically trying to shove his tongue down my throat, and I was just pushing him away, I'm like, no, no, and I was like fucking half asleep, 
and I was just out of it, and I was trying to get him off me, and he's like, oh, come on, just, just a little kiss. I was like, no, no, and I was just trying, he just would not take no for an answer, and finally, I got up, and I just grabbed him in the face, and I just threw him right into the ground, and I said, get the fuck off of me, and uh, that was my second encounter with a furry. So, those were my only two encounters with furries, and both times I was sexually assaulted by a gay furry while trying to sleep, once even in my own bed, and I learned a valuable lesson from both of those encounters, and that lesson is never to judge an entire fan base, community, or group of people based on the sole actions of a couple individuals. I can see where they come from to an extent, because before I was a brony years ago, I uh, remember I was in an arcade, I was talking to my friend who worked there, and I saw my first brony. It was a oversized man. He was like, I'm not exaggerating. He was probably over 350 to 400 pounds. He was wearing a very sweaty Pinkie Pie shirt. Uh, he had a neck beard. And I just, I was appalled because I'd never seen somebody like that. I got it in my head for a while that that is what bronies were that that's how they looked, that all of them just were like that. So whenever I saw them on the internet, I would, like on YouTube mostly, I would troll them, I would mess with them, I would get them to freak out, and I thought it was funny for a while. And then I remember seeing Twilight Sparkle's special message recommended to me every day for months, and I hated that video. I watched it, I thought it was stupid, I still think it's stupid, and I just, I hated it. So, a couple of years ago, I went to my friend's uh, birthday party when she turned 21, and I stayed the night. Well, we put on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and she tried to get me to watch it. I pushed her away, and I was like, no, this is a stupid show, and, well, it just, I looked like an asshole that night, I'm not gonna lie. And, uh... I didn't really pay attention, I didn't give it a chance, and her and I drifted apart after that for a couple of years. Then I ended up just trolling and messing with bronies from time to time whenever I felt like it, until I saw Hot Diggy Demon's The Dot Mob series. I watched Apple Dot Mob, and I thought it was a little bit funny, but I was like, huh, I wonder about this show now. I should probably watch a little bit of it to understand some of the jokes before I continue watching uh, this animated Dot Mob series. And I'm a huge fan of internet cartoons. I love animated series on YouTube more than anything. So I got it up on Netflix. I started watching it. And I thought, I'm really watching My Little Pony. Wow. So I watched the first episode. I thought it was all right. And I wanted to see what happened, so I watched the second episode, and then before I knew it, I just kept watching through them, and then I went back to the Dot Mob series, and I watched what episodes were up before the series was finished. When I look in the comments, I saw so much hate for the Baronies, and I realized, wow, I'm a Barony now. Actually, the show is a decent show. And I just, I was a I was shocked by how many people go out of their way just to start these arguments and keep them going. People like me at the time would just hate, and some of it was just pure hatred, rather than just trying to troll them. And I could tell, I was like, wow, these people are serious. So, I turned the tables. I started trolling the haters and the anti baronies nonstop. I would mess with them, I would just... Oh, it was, I thought it was hilarious. And then, after a while, I got into the brony community a little more. I watched the entire show. I started fan fictions. And my friend, who I pretty much said fuck you to about the whole My Little Pony thing at her birthday, she blocked me on Facebook. She couldn't speak to me. She hated me. And I had to make another account, so I messaged her, and I told her just to give me a chance, let me talk to her. And I apologized to her for how much of an ass asshole I was that night, because I really was an asshole. And she forgave me, we're friends again, 
and I'm really ashamed of myself for how I acted that night. And that's how I became a brony. So I understand where haters and anti-bronies come from when they talk about us uh, spreading ponies everywhere, ponifying everything. I understand it. So, that was the entire video, and this is just a last-minute message that I'd like to pass on to all of you. And that is, don't hate the anti-bronies. And I know you've probably heard that before, but here's an easy way to do it. Turn their your hatred, or whatever you call it that you have at them, into jokes and laughter. I see their entire anti-brony groups, like the anti-brony brotherhood, as just a huge joke. People who waste their time spreading unnecessary and unneeded hate to an entire community online because they feel like there's some kind of mission behind it. They'll come to our videos, they'll call us pony fags and horse fuckers, and then when a brony tells them to fuck off, they're, they just get in their face, they're like, oh, where's the love and tolerance, you brony fag? We see it on different videos, I've seen it a million times, it never gets old. And to me, I find them funny. Because they're people sitting behind a computer screen, just like you or me right now. And we're using our time to enjoy things we like, while they're using their time to harass other people because they have nothing better to do with their lives. And whereas they'll say, we have nothing better to do than watch a little girl show. Here's what I say, and I'm taking a quote from one of my favorite shows now, Game of Thrones. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. I'm a brony. I'm proud of it. I don't care what other people think of me. My family doesn't care. They don't give a fuck what I like, because I'm still who I am, and that's their family. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. So just laugh at them. That's it for the video, everyone, and anti-bronies and anti-brony brotherhood. Don't go anywhere anytime soon, because... We wouldn't be a real community without haters. Every community has haters, and from the utmost of my heart, thank you for being around for us. We love you.